Hello everybody, welcome back to the Gregorius Mass video. Um, today we're continuing on, we're pressing forward with the advent calendar. And um, yeah, today I am going to be... Yeah, I, I, I found this, um, this comment on Math Stack Exchange a few years ago actually, and I thought it was really funny. Um, and yeah, I thought it would be the perfect addition to the advent calendar. So basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be computing the sum from j equals 0 to n of uh, minus 1, sorry, of minus 1 to the j times by n choose j. And we're going to be computing the sum, which actually is like really easy to compute because you just notice that it's... Um, exactly what you get when you plug in minus 1 into the expansion of 1 plus x to the n. So it's just 1 minus 1 to the n, which is 0. So it's really, it's like a one-line proof. If you're wondering what the result is, spoiler alert, it's 0. But um, instead of doing that, or some other elementary sort of arguments, today we're going to be attacking this using the tools of algebraic topology. <laughs> and um, yeah, that hence the thumbnail. So um, yeah, really sort of a hydrogen bomb versus coughing baby type of situation here. Um, so how are we going to do this? Well, we consider the n torus. So the product of the circle with itself n times. And first thing to note here is what the, the strategy that we're going to take is we're going to compute the Euler characteristic of this thing in two different ways. So the first way is, okay, if you look at the Euler characteristic of the circle, let's think about the cell, cell structure, the CW cell complex structure of the circle. So remember, the Euler characteristic of a CW cell complex is just the alternating sum. So it generalizes the like, um, the edges, vertices, that def like the definition the original Euler definition to n dimensions. So we do the number of zero cells minus the number of one cells plus the number of two cells minus number of three cells, so on, so on. Well, with the circle, we have one one cell, which have a point, and we have one, sorry, we have one zero cell, and we have one one cell, which is basically what I'm saying is if we have a point here, and we have an interval, and we glue the boundary to this point. If you think about taking an interval and gluing it, gluing the endpoints, the boundary of this interval, to a point, to a zero cell, you just get a circle. So we have one zero cell, and we have one one cell. And so the Euler characteristic is just one minus one, which is equal to zero. And so the Euler characteristic of the n torus, well that's just going to be by the product theorem, so the Euler characteristic of a product of spaces is just the product of their Euler characteristics, well it's just going to be 0 times 0 times 0 n times, so the Euler characteristic of the n torus is 0. Okay, cool. But there's another formula that one can use to, car to calculate the Euler characteristic of a space, and that's where we're going to get the summation from. So that's cool, but we can also calculate the Euler characteristic of the n torus as an alternating sum not of how many cells it has, but of the ranks of the, co uh, of the homologies. So there's this sum from j equals 0 to n of minus 1 to the j. Uh, maybe I could go to infinity, but when n is bigger than, uh, sorry, when m, or sorry, when j is bigger than n, then the cohomology is going to be 0. So we go from minus 1, it's from j equals 0 to n of minus 1 to the j, times by the, let's say, the dimension of hj of um, s1 to the n. Uh, yeah, the cohomology. We're working with coefficients in the integers here. Okay, right, so how are we going to compute this? Well, thankfully, 
we can use the Kunath formula with no issue. There's no like torsion issues or whatever because everything is free. So we can say that the jth cohomology of the n torus, I should have just denoted this as Tn, but okay, it's too late now. Um, the formula is that it's the direct sum over all, well, because we're taking a product of n things, so i1 plus up until i n equals to j of h i1 of s1 tensor h i2 of s1 tensor and so on and so on up until h i n s1 like so. Now the cohomology of the circle is really simple. It's the integers when uh, sorry, the nth homology, I keep saying cohomology, the nth homology of a circle is really simple. It's the integers when n is 0, it's um, the integers when n is 1, and it's 0 otherwise. So, for this tensor product to be non-zero, we need all of these indices to just be either 1 or 0. Okay? And then, we use the fact that the integers tensored with itself gives you just the integers. So, really the, okay, so anything, when any of these indices is more than one, we completely discard that. And when it's just ones and zeros, we get a copy of the integers. So, how many ways, how many copies of the integers is this giving us? Well, since we're only allowed ones and zeros, we need, for the jth cohomology, we need exactly j ones and the rest are zeros. So in other words, out of this set of n elements, we need to pick j and make them one. So how many ways can we do that? I.e. how many copies of the integers are we contributing? Well, n choose j. So this is precisely the integers direct summed with itself n choose j times. And so the dimension is just n choose j. So we get that the Euler characteristic of, okay, okay now I'll, I'll call it tn, <laughs> is equal to the sum from j equals 0 to n of minus 1 to the j times by n choose j. And that's exactly equal to, well, by this, <laughs> not by this, ignore this, by this is equal to 0. And therefore, Using this purely algebraic topological machinery, we can conclude that this is equal to zero. And uh, yeah, um, this this is this argument. Yeah, is from Math Stack. It's, I can't remember um, which thread which thread I found this on, but um, yeah, I remember I found this so amusing when I first saw it. So. Uh, I'm glad that I didn't make a video on it back then because it allows me to continue the advent calendar in a nice way. Um, but yeah, no, let, <laughs> let me know if there's any other summations that you could compute doing this. I'm sure there are. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I just thought it was funny. And uh, I thought for those of you who know about cohomology, you might find this amusing. So, and for those of you who don't, maybe it's inspiration to get the meme, you know. Um, Anyway, uh, yeah, that's it for, I don't even remember what day it is, day five of the advent calendar. In any case, I will see you tomorrow. Good day.